Hey guys, okay. Now, we're going to talk about the block, as I stated before and everything. So, I don't care if he fights me, yells at me, or anything, his friends tell him about this or anything, but this is to help me write my book because he's not the only one that should know about this because there's a few on Facebook and a few friends I'm still friends with whose friends I did date that one wanted to schedule my breakup. <laughs> Yeah, but there's a uh, little catch to that one. Um, I let I, I I was like I beat him to the punch. So here's what I'm talking about with the block. I'm gonna read it again. All right. Basically, the block is when they use a friend or friends to deflect the attention away. Watch out for this, for it can blow up in their face, not yours, when you catch on to the codes. First, let me talk about what I mean by friends and okay. When someone who claims to be your friend, or is more, or what we're presuming based on what my um, detective friends and everything say, is that he wanted to have me at the same time as this other person. He didn't want to hurt my feelings if he was dating someone. I live in the United States. He lives in the UK. I wouldn't have fucking cared. Just tell me the truth. How could it hurt me? You're dating. I'm different. I only date when I want to date. Because I can't get out of my house because of my mother. And my family. Because they have me low jacked. Because I am not allowed to have a life. I fight them on it. But I am going to make sure I have one. So, basically, let's talk about this. So, what happens is, there, um, it's basically the codes. And the codes will lead into, and I'll explain each one. Now, what I'm talking about pictures is the first code. Pictures of certain girls that are just friends. Okay, you have, when you start posting pictures of girls and everything, and all that stuff, and you're like, okay, why am I posting all these pictures of girls? Out of all of them, one of them will be the girlfriend, and the rest are deflectors to make you think, depending on the codes he uses or sayings, that one of the other girls is the girlfriend. Yeah, you can rewind this to follow that back, but you'll get it, what I mean, when I finish saying this. So the example was, there were a couple girls that look similar to me, especially when my family and everybody saw that. So those are the ones that would be the deflect while the one that he would be dating who would not look like me or anything like that or maybe have some similar features but not as many as these other girls would be the one he's fooling around with while this goes for all guys what they do to girls okay and I know this because the guys I used to hang with would tell me this okay so you have to watch for that the second code is pattern changes, appearance, and speech. All right? Now, I would be knowing this person for two years. A lot of times I know guys before I date them and everything. Or a lot of times, I mean, I'm also an observer, so I read patterns and everything. If you have a normal pattern with, with me, thank you, canine. If you have a normal pattern with me and you break that pattern, I always think you're either ill, sick, or something is up. Okay? Appearance. All right, fine. Guys can change their appearance down there, so do girls. But that's iffy depending on the situation or anything. This one started growing a beard and all this stuff. And I'm thinking, okay, maybe it's for the medical reasons or whatever. So they can, but it's just odd, conveniently started growing that one. Who normally doesn't want, right? Also the speech, how they talk to you, how they interact with you and everything. And this is where it gets to number three because usually they're always chummy chummy all this and stuff and everything right no when you question them on things they forgot what they said because they can't remember the cover story and what I mean and this is what guys have told me what it is is that when they're trying to juggle so many girls or not let people know what's going on or anything especially friends they have to remember all the lies the cover stories that they did with that person this person was messing up for the last few weeks and everything. So that's when I knew 
we're back to square one. Something's up again. And everything. And I have to walk away. I knew it wasn't the girl that he kept posting in pictures. I knew what was going on. I was waiting for him to tell me that he was dating someone or thinking about dating someone. Because he would tell me he got upset because one of the girls got married. He got upset because he couldn't have this girl who has a tongue piercing and all this other stuff. He had a very nice dream with her and everything. But yet got mad at me because I have two tattoos and I dye my hair lighter. Well, highlight my hair. And I'm like, but you'll want that girl. You'll want that. I'm like, what is going on here? Like, I couldn't understand how if you're crying for someone like me, why aren't you picking me? And pining over a girl who just got married. So I said, I have to get out of here. Right? So the next one is stage four or code four. The phone call with too many details. Now, girls. Okay. If your guy is going out with his friends, he's just going to go like, yeah, I got stuck. I stayed over. Blah, blah, blah. Right? If you get a guy that gives you too many details down to the wet pants cuffs that he has by running through all the streets and everything and tells you every detail of that night, yeah, something else was going on. Because no guy will be that detailed. Okay? And if they're that detailed, that's a red flag. And I got, the, and then the best part was, is that if they hang up right away with you after saying the story, that's the red flag. Because that means they think they said it so fast that you're not going to process it. I don't have the same brain as some girls. I process everything. And I've been down this road. So I'm sitting there like, really? Really? Instead of just saying, oh, talking too much, missed my train, being a gentleman, took the girl home, stayed at her house because it was easier, went to bed, got home, I'm fine. That would have been the simplest answer. And I would have been like, oh, you're a gentleman. Okay, fine. Take your friend home, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Not have to tell me every detail down to, like I said, the wet cuff pants, that he had to borrow clothes, he slept in a closet, all this detail by detail by detail by detail. And I'm like, what did you fucking do? So I was calm on the phone. And five is, says I still care, and then blocks you on social media. If they still care, why, why block? What are they hiding? Like I said, with this person, I would fight and everything and stuff like this all the time and never would block me. This happened to me before with other guys when I caught them with other girls and everything. But that time, I was supposed to be the girlfriend. Now, here's the thing. In his eyes, I was not the girlfriend. I was his mate, his friend, his cherished friend and everything. So if I'm your cherished friend, why be afraid to tell me if you're going to date someone or you don't want me around, okay? Everyone said to me, those late night video calls were a way of being booty calls. Even though we did nothing but talk and joke and everything, I figured like one other person did tell me, maybe he's the, you're the last one he wants to see before bed. No, it was called after he was dealing with the probably the girlfriend, dealing with the other people. Doing, he had to figure out how to make time for me since, oh, if she figures out I have no, I'm too busy for her or anything. And that's another thing. People get too busy for me. That was the best line I loved. So, oh, I'm hitting 9:32 because I wanted to talk about more about like other signs and everything because that was the block, the out, and everything. So let me see, 9.42. I'm going to talk to you guys in a second, all right? And I'm getting all itchy and everything, all right? Because I can't take this. I really got to get my hair done. All right. See you in a second. All right, bye.